What's going on YouTube? Kamikaze Von Doom here with another Division 2 video. Now shout out to the DoD Disciples of Doom. In today's Division 2 video, I'm going to give you another weekly vendor reset and must buys. Today is May 12th and we are doing a weekly vendor reset and must buys because today started year four and it actually reset all of the vendors and spoiler alert you can buy the new heartbreaker gear set in the vendor right now so if that sounds cool sit back relax grab your popcorn don't forget to hit that like subscribe if you're new and let me know in the comment section below what you think now, I have done nothing in year four yet except for my expertise leveling system. So all of this is new. However, we're going to do this weekly vendor reset and then we'll jump into the build videos and all that later on today. So don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell. Now we're going to start in Washington, D.C. and then we will finish off in New York City. First up, the very first vendor is going to be your base of ops vendor in Washington, D.C. All right, and starting off with the Invisible Hand. Now this is the named Og with Perfect Allegro. This week it comes with Stability. Then we have an Og Para with Damaged Targets Out of Cover and Flatline, hello. You can put that in your recalibration library. Pick this up right now. Then we have a FAL with Ranger and Armor damage. You could easily pick this one up and then just re-roll that Ranger off for Flatline because Flatline is gonna be the new must-have weapon talent. Then we have a X-45 Tactical with Strained and Headshot damage. Now, as far as the gear items, we have a 511 Backpack with Unstoppable Force, Hazard, and Headshot damage. And then a Hanayu Chest Piece with Max Hazard status effects, and protected reload. Now looking at the mods, crit damage of 9.9. .9. We have drone duration of 6.4. Turret burn damage of 4.3. And sticky bomb blast radius of 4.9. Now must buys things to look at from the very first vendor. I would definitely say pick up this AUG for that flatline weapon talent and put that in your recalibration library right now. Also, this FAL with armor damage is not bad. Just reroll either the core attribute or the talent. Okay, now moving on to the clan vendor. And like I said, spoiler alert, you can buy a Heartbreaker gear set item from the clan vendor right now. And if you haven't already, hit that thumbs up, support the channel by subscribing, and let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of this new title update. All right, here we go. Clan vendor. Starting with the Artist Tool. This is the named rifle with Perfect Rifleman. Also comes with Reload Speed. Then we have our gear set items. Ongoing Directive Backpack with Crit Damage. Heartbreaker Chest Piece with Headshot Damage. This is a must buy. It comes with Headshot Damage. Not only that, but everyone knows using the Heartbreaker gear set, if you use Headshots, that's what pulses the enemy. So having headshot damage is a must-have for this gear set. And then we have a Hunter's Fury backpack with crit chance. Now looking at the high-end items, we have a M1911 with reformation and armor damage, followed by a lightweight M4 with reformation and headshot damage. Then we have a Sokolov Concern chest piece with empathic resolve, hazard, and crit hit damage. A Spaz 12 with crit chance and breadbasket, followed by a card 45 with lucky shot and damage to targets out of cover. And then we have a Empress pair of gloves with skill haste and armor regen. And then finally, a Hanayu mask with weapon handling and hazard protection. Now looking at the mods, headshot damage 8.1, Pulse Skill Haste, 5.3. Headshot Damage, 8.1. Again, with the double head... What mother... F and then Chem Launcher Radius of 6.4. Now, must buys things to look at from the Clan Vendor. Check out the Heartbreaker Chess Piece. This comes with Headshot Damage, and you can reroll that core attribute for a Weapon Damage attribute. That is a great pickup. Um... And that's about it. 
I mean, you could pick up the Empress Gloves and then re-roll the Armor Regen off for skill damage, but that's about it. All right, now that we are done in the base of Ops, let's uh, make our way west and then we will double back east, starting with the Campus Settlement. Come on, reload time. There we go. And let's run all the way down here to the campus vendor. She kind of looks like Cassie Mendoza's like doppelganger. It's pretty funny. Look at this. Looks just like Cassie. All right, here we go. All right, campus settlement. Starting with the Tabula Rasa. This is the named um, LMG with the uh, perfectly steady handed. Now this week it comes with armor, damage, and max damage to targets out of cover. I would pick this one up because you could easily just max out that LMG damage and then you're good to go. It would take two optimizations to get that armor damage up to max and then that's it, God rolled. Not bad. Then we have a SR1 with max marksman rifle damage. Um, head health damage and then ranger that's not bad um, if you like the sr1 this is a good setup i would just re-roll that health damage off for either damage to target set of cover or armor damage then we have a classic rpk with ranger again max lmg damage so this is another good pickup with that ranger you could easily just re-roll the optimal range off for armor damage and then that's it you can uh, optimize the damage to targets out of cover and then you are good to go then we have a heligard mask with explosive resistance and headshot damage and then finally alps holster with crit chance and skill haste now looking at the mods Skill Haste, 10.1. Chem Launcher Damage, 4.1. Hive, plus 4 Stinger. Pulse Cone Size, 6.5. And Trap Shock Radius of 6.1. Now, must buys things to look at from the Campus Settlement. The Tabula Rasa is a good one. The SR1 if you're a sniper. And the Classic RPK if you like LMGs. All three of these weapons are pretty good setups. You just have to re-roll one thing on each of them and then you're good to go. And that is it for the Campus Settlement. So now it's time to go to the Dark Zones, starting with Dark Zone Ho West. West side, west side, what? Let's go. All right, now remember for each of these Dark Zone vendors to purchase any of these items, you need DZ resources. Now to double check your DZ resources, go over to your resource tab and it is just above the keys. For example, right here, I am at 24 of 300 for the DZ resources. So if there's anything in here that I wanna buy, I'm gonna have to jump into the Dark Zone and farm those resources. Here we go, Dark Zone West. Hopefully we get some goodies, let's see. Starting with the backup boomstick, this is the named sawed off uh, sidearm, the double barrel sawed off. Um, it comes with that 17% shotgun damage. And then this week it comes with fast hands and health damage for that bottom attribute. Then we have a tactical SASG 12 with sadist and accuracy, followed by a SIG with perpetuation and health damage. For gear items, ongoing gloves with crit damage. Ongoing knee pads with crit chance. Golan gloves with skill haste skill damage. And then Uzina Gattaca knee pads. This is the brand new, brand new brand set that was just released today. You can buy these right now, DZ West. Now these knee pads come with hazard and crit damage. And remember if you run three pieces of Uzina Gattaca, you get hazard protection as well. So this is a great pickup right here. Great pickup. Now looking at the mods, blind death resistance 8.5, seeker mine damage 4.2, shield deflector damage 4.3, firefly speed 8.3, and decoy duration of 5.5. Now, must buys things to look at from DZ West. Um, definitely check out the Uzina Gattaca knee pads. All right. Now, let's move on to DZ South. We're going down south, boys. Woo ha! Yeah! Let's go. Going down south, the deep south. 
All right, here we go. All right, so now we are in Dark Zone South. Let's check out this vendor. All right, starting off with the Liquid Engineer. This is the named Bellstone Backpack with Perfect Bloodsucker. This week it comes with Repair Skills and Armor Regen. That's a pretty damn good pickup. Just re-roll that Repair Skills off for whatever it is you want, whether it be Hazard, Crit Chance, Crit Damage, Headshot Damage, whatever. This is a good one. Then we have a Banshee SMG with Rate of Fire and Measured, followed by a FAMAS with Crit Chance and Steady Handed, and then a Officer's M9 with In Sync and Damage to Targets out of Cover. Now looking at the gear items, we have True Patriot Backpack with Armor Regen, Aces and Eights Chest Piece with Weapon Handling, Richter and Kaiser Backpack with Armor Regen, Health, and Gal uh, Galvanize, and then a Walker Harris chest piece with Intimidate, Hazard, and Crit Damage. And you can see right there the rework to Intimidate that came out today. Now looking at the mods, Crit Chance 4.5, Drone Armor Repair 6.3, Turret Damage 4.3, and Sticky Bomb Blast Radius of 4.7. Now must buys things to look for at uh, DZ South. The Liquid Engineer is a good one. The Banshee SMG with Rate of Fire and Measured is a good one for burst damage. And uh, that's about it. All right, last stop for the Dark Zones. We're going to DZ East. And remember to go to the Alpha checkpoint and not the main entrance. All right, DZ East, just go outside the checkpoint and you will see the vendor right here. All right, here we go, DZ East, let's go. Starting with the Hollow Man, this is the same one that we had on Tuesday. So some of these items have changed, other items have stayed the same. But here's the Hollow Man mask with near max armor region, that health damage, and then just reroll the core attribute to either max armor or weapon damage. Now this is a DZ exclusive. Well, technically it's a PVP exclusive. You can get this mask in the Dark Zone, Conflict, or from a named item cache. Then we have a surplus SVD with crit damage and close and personal, followed by a custom L86 with unhinged and armor damage. Looking at the gear items, we have a True Patriot mask with status effects, True Patriot Holster with status effects, Providence Mask with hazard and explosive resistance, and then a Seska Holster with crit chance and skill damage. Now looking at the mods, Repair Skills 16.2, Chem Launcher Skill Haste 5.8, Hive Plus 4 Stinger, Pulse Skill Haste 5.0, and Trap Duration of 4.3. Now, must buys things to look at from DZ East. Um, the Hollow Man mask is a must buy. And this Seska holster is really good for, like, say, a capacitor skill build. This is a good one to pick up for it. All right. And that is it for the Dark Zones. Let's finish up Washington, D.C. with the theater. Now, don't forget, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. And let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. All right, here we go. Theater settlement. All right, starting off with the mop. This is the named 612 shotgun with that armor on kill. This week it comes with preservation. This is a good pickup because preservation gives you armor on kill. And so does the armor on kill. This is a great thing to double dip with just max out that core attribute and then you're good to go that's a good pickup then we have a ksg shoddy with flatline motherfucker pick up flatline put that in your recalibration library right meow um let's see here so this ksg shotgun comes with flatline and crit chance then we have a usc 45 acp with vindictive and armor damage followed by Walker Harris Gloves with Skill Damage Crit Chance, and then Alps Knee Pads with Health and Explosive Resistance. Now looking at the mods, 
Armor on Kill, 15.5k. Seeker Mine Damage, 4.2. Shield Deflector Damage, 4.1. Uh, Firefly Blind Effect Duration, 5.7. And Decoy Health of 6.0. Must buys things to look at from the theater. The Mop is a great pickup. Uh, Walker Harris Gloves, if you want to, you could pick this one up for the capacitor skill build that I was talking about earlier. Yeah, that's about it. So that is it for Washington, D.C. Let's finish up in New York City. All right. Come on. Let's go. Oh, there it is. All right. So at the top of the escalator is Marco, and then outside is Roy Benitez, and then we are all done. All right. Here we go. From Marco. We have a black market AKM with max crit damage and reformation, uh, followed by a paratrooper SVD with breadbasket and accuracy, a military Mark 17 with max rifle damage, health damage, and perpetuation, custom P45 with breadbasket and health damage. Then for the gear items, we have a Petrov chess piece with crit damage, repair skills, and explosive delivery. A Grupo uh, pair of knee pads with weapon handling and explosive resistance. And then Richter Kaiser mask with repair skills and skill damage. Now looking at the mods. Skill duration, 8.6. Shock resistance, 8.3. Turret burn damage, 4.3. Hive Healing, 4.5, and Decoy Duration of 4.2. Must buys things to look at from Marco. Um, no. All right. Now, our last but certainly not least vendor in this video is going to be Roy Bonitas. Er, hold up. But before you do that, you have to come pet the dog, see how he's doing, wellness check. What's going on, boy? Doing good? Make sure he has food in his bowl, water in his bowl. His tail's a wagon. He looks happy. So let's uh, move on to the last vendor. All right, Roy Benitez. Here we go. Fingers crossed. Big money, big money, big money. Ah. All right, so starting with the custom P416 with headshot damage and nearsighted. I mean, it's basically a glory days. Then we have a SRS A1 with max, mag size, and fast hands. Followed by a M16 A2 with headshot damage and perpetuation. And then a M45 A1 with finisher and health damage. Looking at the mods, or not the mods, the gear items. A Badger backpack with wicked explosive resistance and crit chance. Araldi gloves with weapon handling and status effects. And a Bellstone holster with max crit chance and hazard. Now looking at the mods. Skill haste, 10.2. Blind death resistance, 8.5. Turret skill haste, 5.8. Pulse effect duration, 8.7. And trap duration of 4.2. Must buys things to look at from Roy Bonitas. Uh, nothing. And that's it, everyone. This is your second weekly vendor resetting and must buys for the week. It is May 12th, the start of year four. So I hope everyone has a great start to their new season. I myself have not even started it yet. I'm just looking at all the new stuff and getting my expertise level up. But yeah, besides that, I hope everyone's enjoying themselves. I'll be coming out with multiple videos today, tomorrow, the next day, the next day. So make sure you subscribe, ring that notification bell. I am Kamikaze Von Doom, and I will see you all in the next one. Peace.